Hello everybody, another review. I'm not testing out this product because I did apply this foundation on my skin yesterday and I loved it. So I am going to reapply it again today and I'm going to tell you all how it is I feel about it. I get pretty long-winded in the last few videos so I don't want this video to be too long like the others. The color is like this. It's kind of like a toasty caramel color like when you're watching these in commercials for chocolate you know and the shade dripping out is a color looking like that so this is the Guerlain Guerlain I'm butchering this name Guerlain Lingerie de Lure, and this is the color 6W yesterday I just used the cover just what was in the cover and covered my entire face so let me show you all what this is doing You all see that it just balance out the darkness the bottom of my mouth to my face and I know the other day I was using a product and I was like really making it work I don't need to make this work I just need to slap it on so I'm really happy because it's actually the woman in this in Sephora who picked it she saw this one and she said she thinks it's a perfect match so girl <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have nothing to do. I, I just like... I have nothing to do! <sighs> just need to find a spot where it has some imperfection. Just go over this brush. And you all, it's just so smooth. It just disappears into your skin. Oh my gosh, I didn't put on any primer. I didn't put on any primer this time. Ooh, I might have it, it cooking hot. So this is La Base by Lancome and I'm just going to go over, which is probably like not good to do, but I'm just going to go over because my pores are showing. I really need to deep clean tonight. Oh, wow, that really sink in there. So this is what it looks like the finished application. Yesterday I used this, I put it on around 1500 and I finished. I think I took it off about, uh, what do you say, 11 o'clock. Wait, what I said before, 15 or 3? I put it on 3 p.m. and I took it off around 11 p.m. But you all, the applicate, it just go on and just blend. It just disappears into my skin. I really love that about it. I forgot to put on, well, I put it on with a primer yesterday. It apply really nice the same way as I did, but I have really deep pores. <laughs> so I went over it with the primer. So hopefully it should be fine. Yesterday I was really shocked and amazed when it is I put this on. It's just really nice. The smell is not disagreeable or anything. Of course, as you know, I am testing out, so I did get a sample. I think we know who is the winner. So I really love this. This is smell bad. It smells like uh, how does it smell this? It smells like a scented, not rubbing alcohol, but it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. But it's not perfumey either, and this is what I love about this. So I hope that the real bottle is like this. I am giving this foundation like a 10 out of 10. I have to double check. I think it wasn't a pump bottle, but whether it's a pump bottle or not, I just, because of how it applied and how it disappeared into my skin and just look like skin, I am just wow. I don't look like if I have on. I don't know for you all, but for me, I don't look like if I have on anything. And that is like wow for me. So, yes, <gasps> 10 out of 10 because I used it yesterday. And yo, this was not budging. This wasn't budging. I, my nose was my nose is like Rudolph. I didn't even have to apply powder on my nose or anything. And I had set with this, so I had 
I baked slightly under my eyes. I was in the sun the whole day yesterday. Just, I just amazed. I am really loving it. I had it on yesterday, I have it on today, and most likely this is what I'm going to put on tomorrow. So, yeah. If it is you try out this foundation, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all next time.